the coach of the football team Mr. Joe Willis tells everyone to get off the field and flips a bench in anger, while throwing his tantrum he encounters someone mysterious, later that day the school principal Mrs. Drake is having a meeting with three teachers to discuss the school budget, when they finish Mrs. Drake goes back for the key coach Willis appears right behind her, he flirts with Mrs. Drake and asks her for a pencil, Mr. Willis takes the pencil and pierces it through Mrs. Drake's hand, she screams in utter pain while Mr. Willis withdraws the pencil, in a moment Mrs. Drake scratches Willis in his face by the keys and runs away, she tries to escape but every door has been chain locked, she gets to the hallway and sees the drama teacher Mrs. Olson standing outside, she asks her for help but there's no key, unwillingly Mrs. Drake decides to go back for the key, luckily she manages to make it, after locking Mr. Willis inside and turning around Mrs. Olson coldly uses the scissors to stab the principal multiple times on her chest until she collapses to the ground, the next day students are arriving at school like their normal days, Zeke intelligent yet rebellious student repeating his senior year, races to the parking lot with his Pontiac, Casey photographer for the school newspaper steps out of the school bus and immediately gets hit in the face. We also meet the emo girl Stokely football player Stan and his girlfriend Delilah the cheerleader and editor of the school's newspaper and the transfer student Mary Beth. Out in the football field Casey finds a strange creature on the grass, he brings the creature to Mr. Furlong to examine, it turns out to be a parasite that seems to be found only in sea creatures, when Delilah accidentally spills water to it the parasite revives. Professor Furlong drops it into the fish tank and the parasite starts to grow numerous tentacles and swims around, Mr. Furlong dips his hand in to check and the parasite replicates itself into two, all of a sudden the creature shows its teeth and bites him, Furlong says he needs to call the university, at the pool while Stan's having a shower Mrs. Brummel suddenly comes up from behind asking for help and claims she can't breathe, Stan asks Casey to run out for more support, when Stan pats her head trying to calm her down a big portion of Mrs. Brummel's head skin falls off, after sending her to the medical center Mrs. Olson explains to the boys that Mrs. Brummel has been given cancer treatment which can cause disorientation, while Stan is talking with Mrs. Olson Casey looks out the window and sees Mr. Willie standing on the field under the sprinklers, back in the school Delilah and Casey sneak into the teacher's room to find hot topics for the school newspapers, suddenly Casey sees a shadow at the door and rushes Delilah to the cabinet nearby before Mr. Willis and Mrs. Olson enter the room, moments later Nurse Harper comes into the room to collect her bag, after Mrs. Olson locks the door Mr. Willis grabs the nurse and pinches her down on a couch, the veins on the coach's face pops out and his eyes turn completely white, he turns Harper's head to the side and spits a parasite into her ear, having witnessed what just happened Delilah steps back in shock and accidentally faces the dried corpse of Mrs. Brummel, hearing noises inside the cabinet the coach approaches and as he is about to open it Casey hits him with a pole, Delilah runs behind him, Casey helps Delilah escape from Nurse Harper and run away, they run into Mrs. Drake and Mr. Tate in the hallway, they tell the teachers what happened and ask them for help but they seem to be indifferent about it, the two realize all the teachers have changed, they get away as fast as they can, Casey comes back to the school with his parents and two police officers, the policeman checks the cabinet but the victim teacher was replaced by a doll, the policeman meets Ms. Drake in her office, later he walks out looking strange, Casey knows that Drake has infected the policeman, being afraid that his parents would get hurt Cassie pretends to admit that he has a mental problem, the next morning Casey is made to go back to school, while walking toward the school Casey notices that Mr. Willis comes and talks to his father, they both share a strange look at him, Casey then meets with Delilah with a new appearance at the hallway, the principal is calling students names on the speaker and requesting their present at the office including Delilah, knowing that they're after her Delilah says she is looking for Stan, right now at the faculty office the teachers are all acting strange, they turn on the aircon and stack the room up with water, meanwhile Mary Beth and Zeke are having a walk on the campus, Zeke notices the students seem very slow and unemotional, two boys come and ask him for all the wonderlust he sells, suddenly Miss Burke approaches him and confronts him for selling illegal substances, Miss Burke used to be a shy and quiet woman but now turns into a tempered and violent person, at the library Casey is telling Stokely what he and Delilah saw in the teacher's room, she doesn't believe his story but thinks it a cool subject to talk about, Casey tells Stokely that the teachers are being controlled by aliens, the two meet up with Delia and Stan in the hallway, after that the four enter the biology classroom to see the parasite in the tank but it was missing, in the lab next door hearing the four talking about aliens through the venting hole Zeke and Marybeth go over to make jokes at them, all of a sudden Professor Furlong enters the room, when Stan and Zeke tell him what Casey said Professor Furlong turns around looking scarily at them, Zeke can smell the trouble so he runs out but the biology teacher pulls him back, he does the same thing to Casey and Delilah when they want to escape, Zeke breaks the knife out of the paper cutter and chops his fingers off, 
Mr. Furlong's fingers start crawling to attack the students, Zeke takes one pen full of powder and stabs Professor Furlong in the eye. The teacher's eye immediately has some reactions, for some reason the teacher is dead. Casey takes one of the fingers and puts it in a jar for proof. The group quickly get out and realize that the aliens have infected all the students, they jump to Zeke's car and drive away. Zeke drives the guys to his house and leads them to his lab where he cooks it. They decide to feed the mouse with the parasite finger. The alien parasite immediately attacks and takes over the mouse through the ear. They put some dry powder on the parasite it dries itself out and dies. Stokely shares her knowledge about a theory that if they can find and kill the alien leader the infected would be released and come back to normal. Zeke comes up with an idea that since the can kill the aliens by dehydrating them they should all take it to check if any of them is alien. They take turns to try the and Delilah reveals herself as an alien. The others are about to kill her but she breaks through the lab and runs away. She gets in a car that was waiting outside and drives off. The group quickly gets to the school to look for the queen alien since everyone in town is there for the football game. When they get to the football field Stokely guesses the queen is Principal Drake since she's in charge of everything. When they get together at the gym Stan attacks and ties her with a net. When Casey and Stan are hesitating confronting her the principal slowly gets out of the net. Mary Beth pours all the she was holding onto her and kills her completely. After that Stan goes out and checks if everyone is back to normal. When he gets to the field Stan sees the coach in alien form standing in the rain with the whole team waiting for him. When he gets back to the gym Stan tells them that the coach is the queen and he's coming here. Casey tells him to take the before they could let him in. But he also reveals himself as an alien and spills all the Moments later inside the gym Zeke says that there might still be some left in his car so he and Casey go out to get them. Zeke and Casey are now getting to the parking lot where they encounter the football team. Casey runs off to distract them from Zeke. Taking advantage of the situation Zeke runs to his car but there's no left in the back. He notices that Miss Burke has got to the car and is about to turn him into one of them. While distracting her Zeke sees some left inside the car. He jumps inside and drives away but Miss Burke has already broken in. Zeke drives straight to a bus. Burke is thrown out through the windshield. Her head is crawling around looking for the body to attach to it. Zeke sees the bizarre moment and runs off. Back at the gym Mary Beth is talking with Stokely. She seems to be on the side of the alien. And just a moment later she reveals herself to be the queen. Casey runs back into the gym and sees the giant alien queen in its true form. They run to the pool. The queen grabs Stokely and pulls her down the water. Casey comes and helps her get out of the pool. Then they rush and separate to hide in the locker room. A moment later Stokely sees Zeke sneaking into the room with the with him. Mary Beth walks out from the dark in her naked human form. When confronting him Mary Beth admits that she did not When Zeke is about to stab her with a pen Stokely stops him and exposes herself as alien too. Casey catches her and locks her behind a door. Zeke orders Casey to take to make sure he is not alien as well and they flee immediately. However the queen got Zeke and throws him over the lockers. The queen starts to seduce Casey to be one of them. He takes the from Zeke's hand and hides. The queen turns back to its monster form and flips every locker to find Casey. He finds the way to get to the arena. After that he pushes the button to retract the benches. He sneaks under the benches to lure the queen in with him. Because of his years having to run away from bullies Casey can easily get out of the benches before it closes. The queen got stuck between the benches and unable to move. Casey pokes the pen through its eye as the queen spits out the parasite to his face. The parasites are getting inside him to turn him into an alien. Fortunately the kills the queen and just as Stokely's theory the parasite falls out of Casey and dies. One month later Zeke joins the football team and is hanging out with Miss Burke, Stokely and Stan are together as a couple. Although the FBI denied the alien present Casey becomes the hero of the school and he is now happy with Delilah. Everything is back to normal. Subscribe to watch more videos like this and don't forget to turn on your notification. That really helps my channel. Thanks for watching.